there is a trade off in machine learning that we usually speak about and it is called uh, the bias variance uh, very first thing we got to understand is uh, meaning of uh, variance and what is the meaning of bias when we when we say those words what do you actually mean by that by variance we mean how much the predictor that we are building varies its output so let's say uh, i have a predictor which has an output of something like this right so this has a higher variance than something like this right so this is this is what we usually uh, uh, say that our model has high variance what do we mean by bias bias we mean how far away are we from getting the right value so let's say if uh, this was the function that i was looking for and uh, this is the function that i predicted it is pretty far off my actual function but this is still closer to my actual function so we would say that this predictor has high bias so now that we have understood uh, what like we mean by those two terms we can talk about the bias variance trade off and uh, we want a low variance and a low bias right bias variance trade off says is that if you try and build a model which has you try and reduce the variance in the model uh, leads to high bias and if you try and uh, reduce uh, the bias of a model it leads to high variance and the total amount of error of the model depends on both the the variance and the bias in other words what we can say is that bias variance uh, trade off is essentially saying that there is a fine line between overfitting and underfitting uh, there are many ways to get a mental picture of this Let's say i have to i have to hit this target right now as per my definition of bias bias is on an average how close do i get to the target right this point has a high bias right this point as a low bias right versus uh, what variance would mean is that if uh, if my predictions are all concentrated in a in a small place it it is low variance but if my uh, predictions are scattered all over the place then that has high variance and uh, bias variance trade off says that you can you can hit the target uh, in a close range Or, or, or the you can make the average of those target hit as close to the target as possible. So you can either you cannot have both, right? And this is what the bias variance trade off is. And you can understand this from another perspective, right? Imagine uh, when my my job is to constantly hit this target. Where could the error come from, right? The error can come from two sources. If I try and visualize error in these terms the error can come from two places uh either uh, the error is coming because i am not hitting the right spot right hitting it really far away uh, from the right spot or uh, i'm hitting the right spot on an average but i'm not consistently hitting it right? so basically when let's say this is my target point right and uh, i hit points right my my overall error would be like all the errors like the difference between what the target what i wanted to be versus what i hit is my error right but now i can visualize this error by saying that my overall error is now let's let me take the average of all the points that i hit right and see what is the distance between uh, between the target and those that average uh, this would be a source of my error Uh, this distance and the second source of my error would be uh, whatever uh, points i hit what was the variance amongst them like how did i hit them in a close range or did i hit them in a big range right you can easily imagine that if i combine these two sources together it would give me the same thing as me just computing the error uh, one by one for all points right bias variance trade off is another way of visualizing all error in terms of two separate components one of them is how uh, closely am i hitting to the target the other one is uh, how far am i on an average from the target this is one way of visualizing it what we'll do is that we will also mathematically prove uh, error uh, equals 
the sum of uh, the bias and the variance plus some constant for squared uh, type of error and uh, you can you can take a look at that it's a, these are the uh, data points that i have gotten and uh, I want to build a model predicts predict future data points right i look at this and we can we can see that maybe the underlying function is a sine curve right i, I want to find that sine curve but there's obviously some noise in this data set because uh, there, there are points all over the place right not necessarily in a perfect sine curve now build some models and let's take a look at those models in terms of whether they are high variance high models or low variance models or high bias models or low bias models and i am gain an understanding of where the error is coming from right let's say um, i want to build a simple model right when i build a simple model that also when i build a simple model that also corresponds to high bias and uh, let's say i try and build a simple model i i just say that i'm going to approximate this with with uh, with a line right because i built a simple model and uh, and approximate this with a line but this has really high bias because i really miss my target right for most of the points even in the future the future the points would lie somewhere here but this would really miss the target right so i'd really off shoot uh, from my target because i built a less complex model which had a high bias and bias means nothing but how far on an average are we away from the target right this was a high bias model right but you'd see the variance in this case is not that huge right if i take on average how much the points are differing from each other they are not they are not too far apart from each other right let me go and say that you know what i'm going to actually build a, a highly complex model i'm going to assume that i can use any order polynomial to approximate this and i'm going to build a, a really complex model right and this is what i come up with in this case you would see on an average i have i have hit the sine curve that i was looking for on an average i've hit the sine curve i'm looking for but still there is error in my model and the error the source of error is actually because there's a lot of variation that is happening uh, in my model right because i have overfit i have overfit to my training point and the, my training point had a, a lot of noise and so uh, there is error in the model right ideally uh, there was no noise and i i could uh, find the exact pattern in, in my underlying data i could have figured out the exact sinusoidal curve right in in practice you can either choose to have a a complex model a uh, high variance or have a less complex model with high bias and both high variance and high bias lead to error right as we have seen in this example essentially the bias variance trade off is another way of visualizing the error and it says that hey uh, error comes from these two places which is to say that either the error is coming because i'm really off far on an average far away from my target or i'm hitting the target uh, on an average at the right point but i am too wayward in hitting my target right sometimes it really helps the reason why people talk about this is because it really helps uh, when you're building models and you're trying to reason about why my uh, project is working why my project is not working uh, such reasoning can help you uh, explain at a higher level what's going on uh, in my project right the high level understanding of uh, the bias variance trade off uh, now let me let mathematically uh, squared error can be written as this plus uh, this variance plus some constant